Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video we have a little bit of an unlikely comparison, but honestly, I can't wait to dive into it. Now, the truck we are in right now is the highly modified, slightly built from a bunch of different parts, from a bunch of different trucks, Ford Mud Truck by Glitchworks, which is basically available on all consoles, and on the left, we have a Z2 built log skitter that once you actually build this thing all the way up, you can essentially take it to a level that turns it from your average log skidding machine to a absolute insano mobile that can go just about anywhere that you want. However, I have never brought both of these vehicles out here to a mud park at the same time, and I've never actually driven them in the same scenario with each other, and I'm really curious to see what's going to happen when you put, like, you know, commercial equipment like this, albeit commercial equipment that has been modified to infinity, uh, against some equipment that is very, let's say, recreational. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of use this as our benchmark, and then we're going to see if the Z2 log skitter can keep up. So without any further ado, let's fire this thing up and get into some obstacles and see what happens. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head down to the end of this highway, and once we get to the end of this highway, we will have our obstacles right in front of us. Now, the weird thing about taking this thing down the highway is that the highway sort of poses its own challenge uh, because taking vehicles like this down a highway is already a bad idea in the first place. See, because it won't turn. Ow. Did I? Oh, my God. <laughs> I almost ruined the engine. Good thing we've got a portable mechanic on staff at all times. All right. Now, uh, let's try this again. Whoa and spin out. All right. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. The freeway test is off to an impeccable start. All right. Now, let's uh let's see if we can manage to make our way down to these obstacles without Really? All I wanted was a little bit more speed, and it said, "No, you're you're not you're not doing that. More speed is not going to be available to you. More spinning out? Yes, that's what's going to be available to you. More speed? No. More spinning out? Yes, absolutely. All right, I can see the obstacles right there on the left. God, every time I see that tunnel, I always I always feel like I wish that Limes had had the opportunity to expand this map into a bigger world or maybe to connect this map to some of, uh, some of their other mudding maps. I think that would have been so freaking cool. All right, so first mud adventure in the Ford. I think this thing's gonna rip. Oh, God, we pulled the front axle off the ground. Oh, okay, high gear's a little bit much, but that's to be expected because these mud pit, uh, these mud pits are absolutely insane. These will swamp out any truck south of, like, you know, a purpose-built... When I say a purpose-built mud truck, I mean, yes, this is a purpose-built mud truck, but I mean... Like, a truck that basically only ever drives in mud. Oh, come on. Yeah, wow. Automatic mode really is where this thing wants to be in this mud. You put it in high and it's just too much wheel speed. It just sinks. Almost there. Not bad. Not bad. So, the benchmark has been set. And now, it's time to see what happens when we throw some, like I said before... Heavily modified commercial equipment into the mix. Now, let's go inside it for a second. Look at this. This is an absolutely insane cabin. Look at the screen right there. The tablet showing our coolant temp, our transmission oil temp, our, let's see, our TC outlet oil temp. I don't know what, let's see, IMPL oil temp is, at least not off the top of my head. I feel like I should know what that is, but it's not ringing a bell. Someone will let me know in the comments below. Now, the... Oh my god. Okay, so I put the max engine in this thing, and it's driving like it... It's driving like it indeed. It's a lot faster than I feel like any log skidding machine should be. Why do I also feel like... Stop. Oh my god, I almost... Whoo, that tire almost met its actual end. 
You know what I gotta say? I am insanely impressed with how little it's like crab walking around on the pavement. Most vehicles in SnowRunner that are articulated like this will crab walk a whole bunch and not in a cool way, not in a fun way, but in like a way that makes them not fun to try. Oh, yep, there it goes. There it is, crab walking now. It probably shifted up into fifth and then started crab walking because that's, for whatever reason, that's what these vehicles always love to do. Every time they just, oh my god, can we like not Let's say we do? jeez, dude. Okay, we'll be all right. I think, I think I can see the mud truck. So that means we're getting a little bit closer to actually putting this thing to work on an obstacle. All right. And we're making a left-hand turn. It's basically NASCAR, not really. All right, is that, is that fifth? Oh God, should I leave it in fifth and just see what happens? Uh, high range? Spin? I mean, it's moving. You know, if we're comparing directly to the other truck, this gives me more movement in high range in the mud than the mud truck does. And you know, while it's not moving very fast, it is moving. The mud truck in high in this same mud pit just sank. It, it just dug. So let me put it into automatic mode and see what happens if we let the, the like the internal transmission brain pick a gear. It seems to be advancing at about the same speed. I think high range of this thing is equivalent to about like third, maybe fourth, but I'm not entirely positive on that because first gear seems to be giving me the same speed that high range was giving me, so I think we might be traction limited. Oh no, okay, so yeah, high is about the equivalent of like a very close medium between third and fourth. Because if I go back to first, you can see it like, it still spins, but the speed, and maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just going nuts, but I think the speed is just ever so slightly increasing whenever I take it out of high and put it back into first in automatic mode. What about low plus? Same speed, L literally same exact speed, no change, not a single change whatsoever. Okay, well that tells me I'm definitely speed limited by my traction. But I've got to tell you, I mean, sure, it might not be the fastest thing in the world, but, like, it will get there. And it has shown zero sign whatsoever of starting to sink. This thing has no interest in sinking. Not even remotely. And I love this interior view with the control sticks and everything. You could not leave me alone unattended with one of these. I would, I would, like, if you put me in the middle of a, like, in the middle of the woods and left me unattended with one of these... I would have, like, if I could figure out how it worked, I would drag every tree out of that woods, and they'd probably be like, you, you, you dragged out even the trees that we told you not to drag out of here. And I'd be like, uh-huh, yes, you did indeed give me the keys. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, why'd we do that? And I'd be like, I don't know, but I mean, you did, so, all right. Because we're on dirt right here, and I'm... Well, <laughs> I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see if we could do a launch. Well, not bad. Not as dramatic as I thought it would be, but not bad. This one right here has been the determining factor in so many battles. Oh, that wheelie is so good. All right, we're going to have to be somewhat easy with it. Let's move it out. Dude, it is moving out. Oh my god. It is not about to... No! At the very end. Well, it's not done yet. It is not done yet. Come on, keep it in high. I think it can make it. Come on! What? That was my best run that I have ever done in this truck. Ever. Like, this video aside, every other video aside, that is the best run that I have ever done in that particular section in this truck. I cannot believe that we left it in high all the way through that. Props to the truck, props to Glitch. Oh my god, that knocked it out of the park. 
absolutely. Wow. Now, I know that this won't be as fast. Clearly, obviously, this will not be anywhere near as fast. But we do need to test it anyway. And immediately, we're going to plunge it into it. We're not even going to bother launching it. Uh, there we go. Come on. It may spin a little bit here, but I don't think it's going to start spinning until way later on. Up and over it goes. It doesn't have enough speed to jump, and that's probably a good thing for something this wide, because if you did flip this over, you would have one heck of a field day getting it back on its wheels. I can assure you of that. I think being a mile wide kind of helps because... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might not be helping right now. Ooh, come on. Find something. Something. There we go. It's moving. It gets really bad right here towards the end. But it's moving. We're almost there. Honestly, genuinely impressed as well. What? Yo, okay. Well, these things have both impressed me today. And both in their own separate individual ways. And if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here and you would like to see more, make sure that you turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed.